Somebody say yes. <laughs> yeah, but that's what's really popping, you see. Well, you can see I had one inside the cold rush colors. I get all my nice judgment. Oh, these are these some bad boy friend, Mitchell Shays, they being you know. And this lovely judgment PLB a tie I rock it. You see what they saying? So you know they think for this case. Believe in the Bahamas. You see what's going on? You believe in the Bahamas? <laughs> I always thought you believe in the Bahamas because she was baby, but what's going on? Anyway, that's what's really popping. But right now, hey, look here. Tomorrow's election day, and you better get yourself prepared, prepared now. But this one shall be lovely, lovely. So, <laughs> my junk the works on hold, but you see what's going on? That's all really going on in the news. So this one going special. Let me see what I'm saying. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, <coughs> hey. Anyway, I'm here. I, I wonder if you can, hey, if you could touch me or feel me. This ain't no hologram, so this is not like that. I don't think you might see a hologram to a plastic thing. Hey, it's real. It's just real, me man. You see what's going on? But anyway, news ain't yeah, I know not much going on in the news, but thing coming up next. But thing called. <laughs> Good night, ladies and gentlemen. We're here with Mr. Leslie Miller, the candidate for Tall Pines. Yes? The next MP. The next MP for Tall Pines. There you go. Mr. Miller, we just want to ask you a quick question about your, your, your party's interest in, in Junkanoo and how PLP would move Junkanoo forward, bring, employ more people, and actually turn into industry as opposed to just a two day test. Listen, you know, with the talents of the people, the young people especially, who participate in the Jump New Parades, um, Christmas and New Year's, it shows you um, how far we can get as a nation in this industry. Of course, I'm a Saxon, I was born a Saxon. I was a part of the first Saxon group that came out in 1958. So I ain't nothing else but Saxon. But you know, um, um, the PLP's program for John Canoe has always been a progressive one under the Honorable Neville Wisdom. Um, a lot has happened for John Canoe. We took the duty off all the materials that you guys use and bring in to the Bahamas. Um, we be gonna come with some bold initiatives for John Canoe. We are certainly the, the prices need to be increased dramatically because when you consider the amount of money that you all put into John Canoe, the amount of time and effort that goes into um, that beautiful, um, 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 I don't want to say a sport, but that, that beautiful cultural experience that in my opinion, the prices should at least double because you can't pay for that type of talent and that you display, that you all display for our people and of course also for our tourist industry. And I feel that um, given, given the opportunity um, come Monday, you will see us putting some new energetic and vibrant programs to assist and upgrade um, that industry and it's called John Canoe. I think, you know, as the president of Light Industries Council, we would certainly wish to assist you all in moving that um, entity forward and enabling you to put it on the world market because what is created in this country during um, um, that festive um, season is probably not created anywhere else in the world. It's a stand for so I look forward to being a part of the team that will put John Canoe to higher heights. Uh, Mr. Miller, just before you go, is there anything you'd like to say to uh, the people out there before the general election? Because this newscast will actually be aired on Sunday afternoon. You know, the good people in Tall Pines 
is the way of the relationship that we have had over the last 30 years. They know that the representation we have over the last five years has been the worst in the history of this country. And they know that my opponent is no better than who was there before. All of them um, has given fifth rate representation. And I look forward to being a part of the community as I've always been for 30 years. I look forward to working for and on behalf of all the good people of Tall Pines. And go on, spend my life, the life of all of our people on Monday. <laughs> that will happen. And I look forward to serving them. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good luck, sir. Thank you. Yours truly top class, back you and wear up. Well, you see, go green, we must go green. In order to sustain whatever we get, we get this wind, power, and water. So go green, go green for a change. Well, you see, the weather condition been looking lovely so far. But we had some rain going last week, but that was lovely. But this week, on the sun spanking hot, my boy. You see what's going on? So, boy, if we can go green and change, for real, you better go green cause so all your grass green, all your trees green and what else? Even my shape, my hat, and my fly green and all that is because I looking for change. Well, that's what's really happening in Bahamas but the weather conditions looking lovely, the breeze is blowing slowly but surely but oh, that's how things gotta be man. So, if you want one Bahamas, you gotta go green. And green is the thing. Anyway, I'm adorned with my uh, DNA attire. You see what I'm saying? Get my some special edition 2012. She is from the DNA rally last night. Rally for change, my man. Rally for change. That's what's really popping. You see what I'm saying? I'm adorned on my boy. You see? Read, read, but I must read. Huh? So let's go green in order for a change. But oh, that's all again. Judgment weather right now. Thing coming up next. Interview. <laughs> Good day, Jones in the world. We are with the leader of the DNA, Mr. Brandon McCarthy. Mr. McCarthy, I'd like to thank you for appearing live here on Jones in the World. Thank you for your support. You can let the name and people out what the DNA has in plan for the Jones in the World. We need to take Jones in the World to a different level. Much higher level. outside the box. We have to do things that will make sure that people will come to Bahamas. People look forward to all around. So we look forward to having that opportunity of taking John to the next time. Well, whatever you are, you have any last words you'll tell the John Kudu public. A uh, little message from the DNA before. Well, this will air on Sunday afternoon. Yeah. So anything you'd like to tell the voters before they go to the poll, especially the John Kudu community. Well, I, well, you know, that's a huge community. Yeah. That is right. a serious, huge community. And, you know, I want to encourage, I want to encourage them that good things are to come. You do the right thing, good things will come. Persons have been there, you've tried them, and you know where you are. You do the right thing, we take you to another level. That's what the DNA is all about. Taking you to another level and appreciating what you want. So do the right thing tomorrow, which will be Monday. You do the right thing, you do the DNA. Thank you, Mr. McCartney, for being here on Don't Go Okay? Here comes sports with Top Class. <laughs> what? Yours truly, Top Class, yeah? Sports! Well, let me show you what's going on right now. We deliver the best in sports. JNN. You know how we go. We deliver. We deliver. 
Anyway, let me show you I can deliver. All this my heart break down at the NBA playoff you right now. But sometimes they ain't getting sin, deliver it. Like judgment, the Dallas Mavericks, the last year champions. They'll be delivering that Atlanta's couple of dollars. <laughs> Cause they will be on vacation, my man. Last night, the Oakland City you on with tennis. Break them up, you see? So the tennis are in the second round, the semis. So stay tuned. But you know I did like you know, how the Lakers get their head rock off the other night. But they still lead the series two to one. But the Miami Heat is leading the series three over the next. And wait, the game schedule and rock off the season. So you better tune into that. When the San Antonio Spurs up three nothing on them judgment uh, on them cats. So you know San Antonio ready to sweep them anyway. So get yourself together, San Antonio. Look for your head to get back off. Just your good San Antonio to sweep them too. Well, the Clippers looking good. The Clippers getting the head rock open too, you know, so Jamal. I want you to sleep. The Clippers judgment. Uh, get the head boys wide open from now. Uh, just joking, they leading up. They breaking up the boy them now. They breaking them up. I ain't gonna lie. Clippers looking good. And first girl at least get the head rock open. Chicago, you know, Philly leading the series on them so they can be getting the head rock open too. Well, Boston. Boston leading the series over Atlanta 2 to 1. And now Orlando getting the head smashing too. From the Indiana Pacers, they leading the series with judgment 3 to 1. So stay tuned for all your latest breaking basketball news. I talking, but they could be smoking hot today. Huh? Taking call, getting ready for the second round. You see what they saying? Cause we deliver. Are you serious? Dead serious. That's what I saying. We dead serious. Anyway. I shall hell hang my hair down and shit. If I wasn't able to make you laugh during this newscast, you see what I said? Because I be delivering the best and chunk of news. So if you don't deliver, you can get rolled out. So I deliver, and you know, it's shown that I'm half, I have proven leadership when I run the show, man. Because, oh, you'll be tuning every week. That's what's really important. But anyway, I'm a dawn in my FM color smart. Hey, bitch, I ain't good and ready. Y'all like to get off, too. Man. You see what's going on? When I get my bad boy, pimp shades, my bad boy, uh, we deliver hot and shape customized. Right? Everything you see in this newscast was customized by your most truly top class. Get my red fly. So I'm telling you, code red, uh huh? Color red is on the move. Are you on the move? You see what they saying? So get your mind right, fans. Look up the Olympics in London. Think call. Get ready for Hamas. We are ready to take this one by storm. So we'll be delivering the most gold medals from the gold rush. And we'll be having one of those green boys and sitting down and enjoying <laughs> the year. Well, I have delivered the best. Then junk with them news. So, you see what's going on. We some highlights coming on, some bloopers coming on, so stay tuned. No jokes, you see. But on the top of that, interview. Interview! Interview, that's what's coming up next. Well, stay tuned. Wow. Good night, everybody. We're here with uh, Minister Maynard, and uh, we're at uh, FM's uh, rally on uh, our Billy Park. Minister, we noticed in the manifesto that uh, they didn't mention a lot about junk with Would you like to let the junk with world? Your ministry or what the FNM has in store for John Canoe in this upcoming five year process? Well, one of the things we talked about in the manifesto, I mean, we spent a significant amount of time on it, but in that document is um, what we call the creative economies, and that encompasses all of the talents that you have within the John Canoe community the architects, the engineers, the artists, the artists, the musicians, the entertainers. All of us coming together um, to start to redesign our towns and our cities based on our cultural identity. And so that's deep in the, the roots of Junkaroo. You know, for many years, as Minister, people used to tell me this, and Junkaroo is not our culture. 
that our culture spreads beyond that. But really, when you look closely at Jangaroo, Jangaroo captures the essence of what our culture. Um, we have people who are in Jangaroo who also are top level at all the disciplines within the cultural sector. So we are going to capture that. And we have some incentives. We have a shrine in law to make sure that it can be a reality and that those who have the talent and the imagination in our country can be able to soar. Okay, and uh, Minister, one final question, because I know you have to go. Um, what do you want to tell uh, everybody out there and about the upcoming election from your point of view? If you want to give them a personal message or, or you want to let them know the FNM's message, go ahead, sir. Let, let me speak directly to the Junkanoo community. In the last five years, we have done wonders in Junkanoo. I mean, not only in the province, but throughout the country. And so, if you want to stick with the government who looks out for Junkanooers and treats them with respect, you know, the, the JCMB has expanded and grown. We expect to make similar types of organizations in all the family islands going forward. It's all about empowering those hard-working artists who use their talents through a labor of love to give us that spectacular presentation every year. We want to make sure that they can make a living off of this talent. And so the FNM is the party for you. Touch your neighbor, somebody say neighbor? Ain't long now. Somebody say yes. <laughs> Good day, John the World. I'm here at Mr. Chris Mortimer, that just the deputy leader for the DNA. And uh, I'm just here, Mr. Mortimer, to ask you a few things for, from the John Canoe community. Well, first of all, what's the DNA plan for John Canoe? Well, John Canoe is our uh, premier expression. Most people don't know I ran John Canoe for two years. So I'm intimately involved, was involved with what makes Junkanoo tick. I mean, what Junk, what, what, and what Junkanoo needs. You know, the, the real function of Junkanoo is, we know what it is. The question is, what are we going to do to take it to the next level? You know, and there's a number of things that have to happen. It's going to take all of the Junkanoo groups coming together to really own Junkanoo. Where that they can, where they can actually benefit economically from the work of their, you know, their creative mind. And so, from a DNA perspective, it's really going to be how we empower Junkano to now, just like how you got the Super Bowl and you got all of those guys that own it and they benefit from it. The DNA is about how do we empower those persons who create this art form to benefit from it. Uh, well, uh, for the Junkano community, you could let them know uh, any last words you want to give to the public just going to air before the election. So, any other words you want to give to the Junkano? Well, I mean, most of the Junkano folks know me. I've been working with them for a long time. I still, in fact, when they, whenever they have issues regarding copyright, they call me. In fact, uh, last year, you know, Silver Ferguson called me. Okay. He said, Chris, I want you to come speak to our group about Junkano. I mean, copyright as it relates to Junkano. So, I know these guys intimately and uh, we've spoken about it a long time the DNA is about empowering people to own all of the things that they create from their mind that's what it's about and we're going to do things that's going to breathe new life into Junkanoo you know not so much just just Bay Street but the economic side of it how do we translate this art form into something that benefits every person that ben that takes part in this cultural expression. All right, Mr. Mort, I'd like to thank you for appearing here on JNN. No problem, anytime. Uh, good luck in this uh, election. Thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. All right, take care. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with Minister Shane Gibson, or Honorable Shane Gibson, or the Member of Parliament for what's Golden, the, Golden, Gate. Golden Gates. And we're asking Mr. Gibson tonight his views on John Canoe and, and, and the PLP moving forward. What do they have in the pipeline for John Canoe and where, where do you see John Canoe in the future? Well, just let me say first of all that John Canoe has always been a very powerful, powerful uh, tool in the Bahamas. Um, the PLP, of course, support um, the, our culture 100%. It was us and the Progressive Liberal Party under our administration who actually um, initiated and started the um, John Canoe Corporation of the Bahamas, which gave total independence to all of the um, large groups and, and um, all of the uh, persons who participated in John Canoe. Um, we were the ones who initially um, got heavily criticized for um, bringing in 
bleachers, to make you know, persons comfortable on Bay Street. Uh, initially, um, we spent a lot of money, but it paid off today. Um, that was what everybody knows and every gentleman knows. And so um, we look forward to um, continuously um, supporting our number one culture. We look um, forward to not only supporting gentlemen as a culture here in the Bahamas, but supporting gentlemen all over the world. As you know, we have groups that travel to um, Carafest in uh, Canada. We have groups that travel to um, uh, Trinidad. We have groups that travel, um, I think, to Jamaica. We have, I, I know a group that I help to sponsor travel to Atlanta every year. And so we want to make junk know what it ought to be. And that is the number one cultural event in Bahamas. Okay, and uh, thank you very much for that. Mr. Gibson, one more further question. Um, I know your father is uh, always in the entertainment industry, and I wonder why we could wait to uh, bring the two roads together the entertainment, John Canoe, and actually moving John Canoe off of Bay Street to have their own venue, whereas we can employ people and actually have a festival year round as opposed to a two day festival only in December. Well, you know, I, I, I think it would be interesting to see whether or not John Canoe can actually survive off Bay Street. I think the acoustics and, and all of the um, whatever it brings around that uh, particular area downtown with the buildings and containing the sounds and all that. I, I'm not sure it will be the same anywhere else. Uh, even though you have rush hours every now and then on uh, different places, there's nothing like having that junk and that sound contained downtown. Uh, as it relates to my father and uh, merging uh, junk music with entertainment, it happens now. I remember as a little boy at uh, the King and Ice Club. Um, um, several of the um, of the um, sounds that we did had jump uh, a jump to it. And I think um, most of the groups now, if you listen to uh, Massage, uh, if you listen to Baha Man, a lot of the groups now uh, merge jump to music with um, the traditional Bahamian type music. And so um, the only thing is for um, government to play more of a role and help uh, in helping to expose uh, what we're going to the world. Um, I think a lot of the entertainers and musicians would want to do uh, more. And, um, unfortunately, they must have the support of government. And so unless government is able to provide them with the uh, platform in order to um, have them highlighted and exposed uh, to the world, I think it's going to be extremely difficult for them to do it on their own. So that is why, as an incoming um, member of the government of the Bahamas, I will do all that I can to make sure that at the end of the day, that the job will take its prominence uh, for what it deserves. Thank you very much, Mr. Gibson. Uh, is there anything I can say to your uh, constituents or anybody in the Bahamas as a whole? Because this, this will be airing tomorrow. No, no, no. I just want our uh, Bahamas all over uh, the Bahamas and all over the world to continue to support John Canoe. Uh, I thank the um, wonderful constituents of Golden Gates because they have been very, very good to me um, over the years. Uh, I look forward to um, representing them once again. Um, you know, as I move to Golden Gates constituency, I feel very comfortable that the team I have in place has done an excellent job. And hopefully we can continue to represent them well in Golden Gates. Running in our bay now. This is what's going on in your your portfolio or your your manifesto. You say that you want to introduce something about junk canoe because we're all interested in junk canoe. So what? Well, just give us some words about junk canoe platform and junk canoe about junk canoe. I'm a John Canoe fanatic to start with. I'm the and I'm open disclosure. I'm the attorney for the Saxons. I've been involved in John Canoe for the most part of my life. And the great historic constituency of Bayonet Groundstown is home to all of the major John Canoe groups, including all of the B groups. There are more sharks, there are more and fingers, but you know John Canoe, you know that sharks have different purposes. So there are, there are pasting sharks, there are design sharks, there are building sharks all throughout the community. And as the Prime Minister has been saying, he sees the area as I see it as able to attract the 3.5 million tourists that land on Woods Rogers Wharf. Woods Rogers Wharf is Polling Division Number 9 Bay and Grants Town. And so we want to take those people and have walking tours and walk them up over the hill, walk them into the shocks and give them an immersive John Canoe experience where they can make a piece, where they can do some pasting and take that piece away, where they can pay for that experience, where they can make, participate in the making and heading of a drum and take that drum with them. And so we can bring that big tourist dollar to a John Canoe industry and make it a 24-7 365 day a year industry, not a two day event. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. You come with me. And now to a Malaysian come with me. Being a real star will come with you. Uh, you know he got this one. Uh, Very long, long. Who you want? Who you want? Who you want? Is he going to be like a camera man? And then the last to go to the CTA NASA. Thank <laughs> you.